Right, so Tory sleaze. There's a nice seasonal topic to cover, isn't there? Do you think it had all gone away now that Bozo the Clown has been ditched and the idiot trust binned off as well? Don't be silly, we still have a Tory ruining the country after all, and Rishi Sunak really isn't any different. In fact, he's been rather busy. Let's start with a throwback to Partygate, shall we? And I'm not talking about his fine that he got, the same as Boris Johnson did. I'm thinking of Allegra Stratton. Remember her? Johnson recruited her to be his press secretary, leaving Peston's show on ITV to take up the role. But before that, she'd worked for the Murdoch Times, The Independent, The New Statesman, The Guardian, that revolving door between Westminster and the mainstream media alive for all to see, folks. Anyway, as we all remember, she was doing that run-through during the pandemic, wasn't she? She was behind the podium and she was caught on film, giggling away over whether people might break the lockdown rules regarding socialising. And, of course, we then came to know the reason she was giggling so much was because the very people making the rules were also the ones breaking them, left, right and centre. Her conduct saw her make an exit from number 10. Well, now Rushi Sunak has hired another journalist, James Forsyth of The Spectator, to be his new political secretary. Sunak and Forsyth are old mates. They both went to posh private school Winchester College. They are godparents to each other's children. And indeed, Sunak was best men at Forsyth's wedding when he married Allegra Stratton. Remember that one when Forsyth heaps praise on Sunak going forward in his columns? Sunak isn't finished there, though. After six months, the Tories finally felt it safe to appoint an anti slee czar again to ensure cabinet ministers are behaving themselves like any such person has ever done an effective job of that up until now. The official title for this post is Independent Advisor on Ministerial Interests. And this is where things take a turn for the sleazy and the somewhat hilarious because that word independent at the start is doing some seriously heavy lifting. The appointee to the post, Sir Laurie Magnus, will not be able to launch any independent probes or investigations whatsoever unless Rishi Sunak gives him permission to do so. Oh, what is the point? He's about as useful as an arsehole with taste buds in that case, isn't he? Of course, the only point is it's to look like they're tough on misconduct whilst doing sod all. And when the sleaze guy can't investigate sleaze unless told he can, when it is never going to be in the Prime Minister's interests to do so, unless it helps him get rid of someone awkward from Cabinet, someone that's become inconvenient, the whole government becomes more sleazy and not less. We will never know of anything sleazy unless Sunak wants us to, or it leaks, as was the case with Partygate. Though, let's not forget how long some in the media sat on the knowledge of all of that when it was going on and only released it when it became convenient for them to do so, or when their bosses, the press barons, deemed it appropriate. Then lastly, there's the news that Sunak is more than happy to let ministers use those posh limousines they're so fond of even more than they already do, relaxing the rules over their usage. They can now travel in them to their constituencies, adding one hell of a lot more mileage in some cases, surely. Sunak himself, for example, let's take a look at him. He is the MP for Richmond in Yorkshire. That's an almost 500 mile round trip if he were to take the limo home and then back to work again. This might be unlikely to happen after a hurried amendment was made to this quietly slipped out announcement as we were all gearing up for Christmas, of course. So when all the bad news slips out, isn't it? To say the limos can be used within reasonable distance of London. But what constitutes a reasonable distance to a Tory? Now, if you have a Tory minister as an MP, perhaps some limo watching is in order in your constituency now, because what Sunak has done is lay down free car rides home for his mates, whilst these same ministers continue to fail to negotiate with the rail unions, even as rail fares are set to soar again, and the transport disruption minimises that is by the unions, continues on. Dirty, sleazy Tories.